morning vinyl community as they were to hear and this is quite a momentous video this is recent finds volume 50 yes I have made 50 videos um, I'm amazed I've reached it this far and I've kept my interest going because I do tend to um, drop drop <laughs> drop off of my interest levels after a while I have to admit I have not been watching too many videos recently so I'm starting to catch up a little bit um, too much football on the television maybe I need to go back to music um, so and the 50 it, well, since I've been doing the videos I've made I've got 42 subscribers which I thank you all um, and yeah I, I had a blast sharing my my, my finds with you uh, and it's been interesting to find uh, what people have found in there what, what they've been um, quite digging and I think it's what I find amazing is the difference between different areas of the world and that's something that I find really interesting I think the need to collect um, yes I'm really pleased that I've made it this far so again normal finds singles albums charity shops record stores local record stores so I'll start off with some singles that I found just the three um, these were in the two pound box at my local record store. Um, the first one is not in the cover. It's oh, get it the right way round. It's the Sex Pistols Holiday in the Sun. Um, the fourth single. I actually think it might be the best single. Um, uh, yes, and um, not in the co the cover. I think the cover got banned. Um, when it first came out, I think you could get hold of it on foreign import. I remember when I was in my teenage years, I used to have that. Um, yeah, I think pistols. If it, you know, as Neil Young said, better burn out and fade away. And I think they emphasize, sort of emphasise that one out, al one real album, and that was it. Yeah, big part of the musical landscape when I was growing up. Another single found, found, pleased to found this in the picture sleeve is Patty Smith's group because the night, the, the biggest big hit single for her, um, and co-written with Bruce Springsteen. And I think Springsteen did do a version of that and appeared on his Live 75 85 triple box set. Um, yeah, really pleased to find that and in, in the picture sleeve, uh, net. And I think a, a little lady used to own it was a net. Net is an abbreviation. A record that I used to play a lot, when I remember buying it as a 14 year old. It's the specials, Too Much Too Young, it's special aka Live, it was the live EP, it was brought out in 1980 and went straight to number one. Which, well, I think we well, made number one, or if it went straight to number one, I'm not sure actually. Actually, I think about it, I don't think it did. Um, recorded on their the Tour 79, Two Town Tour. Um, you've got Too Much Too Young, which is the lead track version of Guns of Navarone on side one. And then on side two, what is called the Skinhead Symphony, Long Shot Kick the Bucket, Liquidator, Scoot, and Indy with Skinhead Moonstop. Uh, the detail from the cover, um, hot sweaty evening, the crowd enjoyed it. Um, yeah, again, cover written on, but you know, I ain't going to complain about that. I think to me, when people write on their covers, it actually gives a history to the to the record. So really pleased I found that. Still sounds great. Still sounds great. Moving on to the albums. Again, another album I played to death when I was about sixteen. This is the Michael Schenker Group second album, MSG. Um, the follow up to the debut Michael Schenker Group album. This probably was the biggest album. Chart wise for them, top 10. Yeah, you've got Are You Ready to Rock, Attack of the Mac and Packs, Man, one of my favourite tracks, Let Sleeping Dogs Lie. This is the, to me the classic lineup. So you've got you've got Chris Glenn, uh, ex Alex Arby, Sash Hedge and Alex Arby band on bass, of course, Michael Schenker on guitar. You've got Gary, if you remember right, Gary Bardens on vocal. Paul Raymond, keyboard and guitar, and then Cody Powell on drums. So, it, yeah, 
Soon after this album was released, Schenker sacked um, Barden and Raymond unexplicably. I don't know. I don't know why. But yeah, I think to me it re reached the peak. I know Schenker still kicks going as a version of the band, uh, still plodding on. Um, I haven't really kept in touch with their music really since the mid 80s, so I couldn't tell you what they're like now. Another album I picked, I picked up double album record store. This is Bruce Springsteen's The River, and yeah, it's, it's a great album. It's a mixture of um, reflective and rockers. And a couple of weeks ago, last week, the BBC BBC Four showed the Ties That Bind documentary, which Springsteen made, explaining the process of making the album and I think it just signifies that they were start, he was starting to grow up a little bit um, but he admitted this is probably the first album where he caught, caught Capture the Land band live as well um, you know, Ties at Binds uh, you know, Ranch um, Two Hearts Crush On You they're just great rockers and then The River is just an icon of beautiful song um, you know, so, yeah, some of I think a lot of people could re uh, relate to Independence Day. Ah, oh, just an absolute classic album. I think probably be ooh, in, up amongst his best. Um, next album. This is probably the first time I'd seen this album. This is Cat Stevens' Catch the Bull at Four. This is his fourth album he released on Island Records. But probably in his chart peak. This album reached number one in both the US and the UK. Um, probably best known track on it is Can't Keep It In, which ends side one. But you've got City, Boy With A Moon, and, and The Star On His Head, Angel Sea, Silent Sunlight, 18th Avenue, Losing Steel, Urquiteras, Sweet Scarlet and Ruins. Um, you can see at that point in his life, he didn't seem pretty happy. Obviously we know what happened, but I don't think anyone really read into the lyrics uh, as deeply. Uh, good package, you got the lyrics. Uh, great cover. Uh, great package there. Very pleased to find that. It's a couple of quid it cost me. Uh, another album I found that cost me a couple of quid. I think this is a reissue. This is Rod Stewart's Never a Dull Moment. Um, sleeves all a <laughs> bit of a. All over. Okay. Open sleeve, yeah, sleeves all over the place. You've got the band, the record artist there, and the record itself comes out the back. That's Mercury Red. Yeah, yeah he's got got on here. You wear it well. You know, his version of Angel. And you'd rather go blind. At this point, he he had the success with Maggie May, and I think he really got. He kept just count. This was just a continuation of every picture tells a story. So great album. A bit of a classical record I picked up for that very for for pennies. This is Tchaikovsky's Piano Concerto, number one in B flat minor, Opus Twenty Three. That's on side one. On side two, you've got um, Hun Hungarian Fantasia for piano and orchestra uh, by by Liszt. So it's a good little package. It plays. It's you know it's an old album record. Worth always picking up. You see some stuff like this, giving it a, um, a spin. Yes, it only cost a few pennies. It's a bit long. It's giving it. What's the worst it could do? Maybe skip. You can either bin it or donate it back. I don't know. Album I'm really pleased to find again. A couple of quid. This is Flyback by T Rex. And this is basically, it's the best of T-Rex, well it's basically the best of T-Rex on the, the acoustic, and basically it does feature that you've got Steve Peregrine Tuck features on it. And you've got on here Deborah, um, One Inch Rock, Kings of the Rumbling Spires. Um, yeah, this is really where they were more, more the acoustic when it started out. Hints of electric guitar started to come in. And then, obviously, you know, Rider White Swan came out, Steve Perrigan took it, had had gone long gone, Mickey Finn had come in, and it, it changed, you know. And let's be honest, Mark Barton never admitted it anything less than he wanted to be a star. I think he would have he'd have jumped up the beachy head if he'd have told him that would have made him an international star, so 
Let's have a quick slurp. Other coffee houses are available. 12 inch single. It's a bit of a novelty. It came out in 1982. Trio, da da da. I don't love you, you don't love me. Um, yeah, uh, it was a number two single. Very much a one off. Uh, very simple drum beat with a guitar. With a German, German accent. I don't love you, da da da. Yeah. Product of its time, but yeah, enjoyable all the same. UB40 uh, the singles album. Now, this came out on the Graduate label in 1980. This is a bit of a cash in to the fact that they'd, they'd had a few, few hit singles. Not in the greatest mix, to be quite honest with you. But at this point, um, Graduate were, was too small a label for UB40, and they were allowed to go and sign, I think, for the rest of them, them set up Def International. Um, yeah, it's got all the early stuff. You've got Food for Thought King, My Way of Thinking. I think it's going to rain today, Dream of Mine, Tyler, Adela, little by little, and a 12 inch version of The Earth Sky Screaming. Useful to have, all the same, a bit of a completist if you're into the early UB40. Now, just really move on, quickly go on a couple of compilations. This is um, called Breakout, uh, came out in 1982. 22 roaring great hits, and Tiger significant as shows that the first track on there is Eye of the Tiger by Survivor. Very much, uh, some of it I could take or leave to be quite honest. Got cheap tricks if you want my love, that was quite a pleasant surprise to find that. Um, you got Don't Go by Izu, Second Out of Motion by Japan. Um, John Wayne's Big Leggy by Hazy Fantasy. Um, Bronzy's War Child. Um, the River by King Trigger, and I forgot about that track. It was quite, it was quite a good one. Hurry Home by Wavelength. Love My Way by the uh, Psychedelic First. So there were quite a, some decent songs on there. I don't know if I would have brought it when it came, came out, and I don't think there's enough there. And this album, I, I was, it was supposed to be too close to Valentine's Day when I picked it up. I don't know why, and my relationship. But it's called The Love Album. The cover's not great. It's record plays on the Telstar label. Came out in 1988. And you've got Berlin's Take My Breath Away. Um, you've got The Time of My Life. These Dreams. Black's Wonderful Life. And the other one, the B-side. Danny Wilson's Mary Prayer. Um, Sade's Love um, Stronger Than Pride. Piano in the Dark, Brenda Russell. I do remember that. I thought I quite liked that at the time. Um, so an album that's what it is, what it is. And the final album, now, I'm not a big soundtrack fan, but when I saw this, it was going for pennies, I thought I'd take, I'd take a punt on it. It's Scrooge, the soundtrack for Scrooge the movie. And uh, music and lyrics by Leslie Bricus. You know what, I've never seen the film. Scrooge is based, obviously, on the Christmas Carol by Charles Dickens. Um, and listening to the album, I probably... If I listen to it once more in my life, I might, I might be lucky. I've got to see the film really to get the context, and I've never seen the film. Albert Finney starred in it, Evie Heavens and Kenneth Moore. So, that ends the 50th video of all my collection, so I'm really pleased with how it's gone. I hope you liked the selections that I've made today. Um, I hope you all have a good week. Um, I'm going to try and catch up. Um, with, with, with videos, I'm going to try and make a few more comments. Moving forward, I think I'm going to uh, try and do uh, some review videos um, just to so people get an idea what I like and um, what I think of tracks. I'll see it from other guys and try and keep an eye out for competitions. I think moving forward, I need to enter, get into the swing of it and enter it. It can be a bit boring telling me, saying, Oh, look what I found, aren't I a good boy, a clever boy? Um, type videos. I mean, a bit greater than I can find them a little bit boring. So click subscribe if you like what you see. Make a comment. All comments are greatly appreciated. So have a good week. Until the next video, take care. BC.